Good evening, everybody. The Fairfield softball team is headed to state. The Trojans will play Dallas Grime Center Monday at 3 and 4 Dodge. Fairfield has won seven out of its last eight games. They just seem to find a way to win. Just like last night, seventh inning, Bowman grounds to short. The throw is wild to first. Jolie Burkhart rounds third. She stops. Then she heads for home. What was she thinking about when she made her mad dash? My coach was telling me to stop. Like, I, I don't want to stop, so I just went anyway. Like, sorry. I don't care. We're going to win. Obviously, when I saw the ball scooting on into the towards right field, and then we sent Jolie home. But, um, but that, was, that was me. Jolie did what she was supposed to do. I held her coming around the bag until I saw the ball getting by the first baseman, and then she went, and that was the end of the story. If you want a Fairfield Softball State Tournament t-shirt, you need to order yours by tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. The price is only $10. I take a 2X, but the clock is ticking. The deadline is 9 o'clock. Eight days ago, when Mount Pleasant lost a doubleheader to Fairfield, the Panthers had lost six out of its last seven games. Thankfully, that ended the regular season. Since then, Mount Pleasant has won three in a row, and they are headed to state to face winner set Monday at 11 o'clock. Summer football continues over at Macon High School. The Tigers have relied on a strong running game in the past, and 2015 should be no different as Austin Harrison, Jace Glover, and Nate Richardson will lead the way. Richardson has worked hard in the offseason, and the results are starting to show. Nate's worked hard in the offseason. He's, he's put on about 25 pounds of muscle. He's gotten faster. If you can gain 25 pounds to get faster, that's saying you've worked hard. And so we're expecting big things out of him on both sides of the ball.